I went to a friend's birthday party when I was around 17 years old. She had it at a nice hotel for a night, and we all returned to her house the next day. One reason we left the next day was that there was a blizzard that had worsened overnight. When we left, everyone was driving very slowly on the highway. That is, except for one person. As we were driving, one guy was taunting us, another car we were traveling with, and many others on the road. With the other car, the truck tried to swerve into them to cause an accident, and with our car, he stuck his head out the window and gave us an unpleasant hand gesture before speeding off. At that moment, I immediately said, God is going to get you for that. I then said a slight prayer that God would make him convicted for what he did. We all began talking and laughing again until we passed an area with a ditch and a police car. In the ditch was a truck that had lost control and went into the semi-shallow ditch. It was the guy. He wasn't hurt, however, he was a little angry. God prevented him from causing damage to other cars and brought us back safely to my friend's home. My brother went to another state to celebrate Christmas with his then girlfriend, now wife. When it was time for both of them to return, my brother left the truck and asked my mom and I to pick them up from the airport. The day they were to arrive, there was a blizzard. My brother had said to wait until he texted to pick them up from the airport. However, concerned that we would get there too late, I suggested that we leave right away to pick them up to make it in time. We were doing pretty well until we got to a certain point and decided to take a break. We stopped at a fast food restaurant as the snow came down heavily. When we got ready to leave, that is when we realized our mistake. The truck was stuck. I was really concerned, especially after a man tried to help us but broke his own tail light. Another man and his family offered to help. He then left to get a rope. I began to pray that God would allow the truck to move. When the man got back, he attached the rope to the bumper. In order to lighten the weight of the truck, I got out prayed that God would help me, and pushed the back of the truck. Within 10 to 15 seconds, the truck was free. We were so thankful. We thanked the man and offered him money and a track. He didn't take the money, but he took the track. The rest of the way to the airport, I was thanking God for his kindness and goodness in protecting and helping us. We made it safely to the airport and later back home. God kept us all safe. This story happened in 2016. It was about three weeks after my husband and I got married. We were on the way to the social security office to change my last name. Anyways, at one point, I saw a pothole in the road and said, be careful. He said, I know, and started to shift the car somewhat slowly so we wouldn't hit other cars. However, the pothole was a lot bigger than we had thought. As soon as we hit the pothole, it popped a tire, causing the car to become uncontrollable. I began praying that we would be okay, as I did not know what was going to happen. We began swerving, trying not to hit other cars, and soon spun until we crashed into a hill on the side of the road. Thankfully, we were okay and only came out of it with a little bit of pain. Later on, a police officer came. He checked the car lines on the road and said that he was amazed that we didn't swerve over the line, even though we felt like the car went over the line. The car was eventually claimed as totaled and we had to get a new car. We are just very thankful to God that we or someone else didn't get hurt.